Service animals are seen in any and every store, but what about schools? At Hedgesville High School, there are students who have men medical and mental illnesses that need to be alerted when it could hurt them. A um, service animal is an animal that provides um, safety for whether it be a student with a medical concern um, or a mobility issue. A service animal is a dog that is individually trained to work or perform tasks to help benefit an individual with a disability. Okay. Um, we have a lot of diabetic students in the school. Um, typically when you get to the high school age, they're able to pick up on their highs and lows. Um, and if something's going down, but they might be going through a rough period, they could benefit from having a service animal that's going to pick up on that stuff before they do. Um, there's also a lot of students with seizures, and that's another big one that um, would be helpful to me, too, that they would be able to pick up that that seizure is about to occur, and we can intervene. Um, well, for me, I personally, I had a service dog last year. Um, it alerted to me, like, bouncing my leg. I had it for anxiety, so it would pick up, like, heart rates, um, just, like, shakiness and things like that. But I know that other service animals, like, for PTSD, can know when the owner is, like, having a situation. The benefits of having a service animal um, is for safety and security. Um, whether it be like a chronic medical condition, they can alert that person um, that something is going wrong with their um, diabetes, low blood sugar, high blood sugar, um, seizures, like I said, if, if they feel, the dog can actually feel a seizure coming on, um, someone with blood pressure issues, if their blood pressure is going down, they can alert to that, um, mobility issues, if they're paralyzed, um, they could help that person get what they need um, and also if the person is blind or deaf they can help them out in that way as far as um, you know making sure that they're safe when they're moving around. Um. Having the service animal might cause distractions in school if students don't do what they are told. Um, I think a service animal would definitely cause distractions especially in the beginning. Um, as everyone's adjusting, hopefully there would be a set plan in place before the animal comes to school in order to prevent those distractions from happening. Um, it would probably go on the teacher level, um, whether it be a student petting that animal or whatever it may be, that the student um, and the teacher would intervene to prevent that from happening. Nothing. I don't think that the person that has a service animal or the service animal itself should get penalized for being a distraction. Dogs are cute. Yes. <laughs> My service dog, I believe, is the cutest thing ever in the world. Many people also think that. But I cannot be blamed for people wanting to pet my dog. They should kind of know if it's a service dog, you're not supposed to pet it, especially when the leash says do not pet. Um, well, if a service dog is properly trained in a real service dog, uh, there won't be distractions. It will stay put and do as you're told. My dog, she was she was like a new service dog. So of course, you know, she had her moments and also being in a high school environment is very stressful. But a dog that's here for a long time and is properly trained, there won't be distractions. And if it's, you know, kids like, oh my God, there's a dog and they want to pet it, that's more on the teacher to tell kids to settle down. There's not anything that the handler can do. Service animals in school are a relatively new element and is requiring new developments and accommodations. Service animal. I wouldn't say that they can decline the animal. I would think that that particular student would really have to have a medical need. Um, there must be something very much wrong that they would need someone, that animal there, to warn of the safety issues. Um, so as long as all the steps are followed and everybody is in agreement, I think that they wouldn't be able to decline that. I think there's a lot of steps to go through um, in order to get that approved, you have to make sure not only that student, it's meeting the needs of that student, but it's also meeting the needs of the, of the particular animal. Um, but then you would also have to meet the needs of everyone else around, the students that are around um, in each class um, and in general, just making sure everybody has what they need. To get a service animal in the school, um, I haven't done it yet, however, I've talked to administration about it. It should be easy in that. Of course, my dog isn't going to be here every single day because I don't need him every day. However, if I do feel sick on some days when he alerts me when I wake up, then I, he'll probably come to school with me to make sure I'm okay. Her name was Abby. She was here for about like 
maybe two weeks. She wasn't here very long and she was planning to, like we planned on having her like forever. So I, we gave Mr. Lyons at least six months notice. I think it might've been eight months notice that we were bringing a dog to schools over the summer, we told him. And I finished my service dog training in September and I didn't get the dog like in my possession until maybe February, March-ish. So I brought the dog to school and at first she was only allowed to stay for like first period and then second period, you know, like to ease her into it because it's stressful being surrounded by like a bunch of people all at once. So it wasn't an issue until Mr. Lyons at one point in time told me that I couldn't bring my dog, I couldn't bring it to driver's ed, I couldn't bring it to the art room because there's exacto knives and paint and it's dangerous. Um, he was limiting where I could go and uh, you're probably going to cut this out. Um, it's illegal to um, discriminate. Yeah. You're illegal to discriminate or um, like, yeah. So like anywhere, anywhere that you go, they have to have some sort of availability for you to bring your dog. They can't be like, sorry, you can't come in. Like that's illegal. You can't do that. So I was very limited on where I can go. I spent a lot of my time in the art room. I'm an artist. So my dog wasn't allowed to go in there. Um, they, I would have like administrators following me around. Um, I remember, cause I had driver's ed last year and when I was on the bus and she couldn't come with me and it was like a whole situation getting on and on the bus. They, they were gonna put me on a separate bus to get to school like by myself, or it was either with the special ed kids or by myself, I don't remember, but I couldn't take my normal bus because kids are allergic to dogs or whatever. So when I was at driver's ed, she was given to Mr. Myers. And I was at driver's ed and his one job was to keep her in the room by herself. And not by herself, he was supposed to be in there with her and just, you know, have her exist. And I come back and I find out that she, Mr. Myers left, didn't close the door all the way, she got out, and went to Miss Gearheart's room because she liked Miss Gearheart. So I think the school the school wasn't prepared for the dog, even though they had notice. And I think I remember when we were gonna bring her in, Mr. Lyons, we we're like, okay, like we have the dog, like we're gonna bring it in. He's like, uh, we need to have a meeting with your mom before she comes in. It's like, it's like we so he asked my mom like what like what are the rules? Like what does he have to do? Like and he just wasn't prepared at all. He had six months to get ready and he wasn't. I don't think I even answered. I think that if they actually need the animal, um, that they have a serious medical or emotional concern, um, that they would be bringing that animal every day. Um, uh, if it's just every other day or here and there, um, I'd kind of question if they really needed that in the school. Oh. I think they should, the dog should definitely be trained. And I don't know how exactly the administration or the school board could ask, well, is your dog trained? Um, I know the way we train my dogs, we have records of his graduating of all of his classes, which, that. But I think all the dogs should definitely have like their shots, vac vaccination records, and everything. Service animals are extremely beneficial to those who need it. However, surrounding students may not be accustomed enough to experience one in school.